What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another OSWE update. Two things I want to talk about in this video. Um, the use of ChatGPT, um, some use cases in general, and how I've been using it to help with my studies for the OSWE, and uh, some grievances I have with the course material, the course itself, the OSWE, some structural things, the way some of the content is provided, the way it just looks, ETC. So um, let us get into that. So I have been using ChatGPT, uh, as most people have been, I've been dabbling with it for various use cases, but specifically for the OSWE, I've been using it for scripting. Scripting is a very big thing for the OSWE, there's a lot of code that you have to read and write, you have to automate a lot of things, and the, at the end you have to provide a whole automation of your exploitation process. And so. Scripting is a big thing. You have to pick a language that you have to be able to script in and I've picked Python as my language of choice. As recommended by a lot of people, it's easy, it's fun. Um, a lot of libraries that you can use just import and use them. So that is why I've chose Python. But I'm still not the best at scripting. So I've been using ChatGPT to help with my scripting. In the course, there are POCs that are provided by Offsec, which you can use as templates. They're not complete POCs, they're just templates which you could edit out and add a couple of things. But um, those are in Python too, which is pretty weird to me. We're in 2022, we're about to cross into 2023, but the course material provided by Offsec, the POCs are still written in Python too, which makes no sense. I think the OSWB was like released as its own course in 2020. Don't quote me on that. But still, not that many people are still using Python 2 in 2020. And now we're getting into 2023 and you're still providing stuff in Python 2. Makes no sense to me. But anyways, I use this Python module or library, whatever you want to call it, called 2 to 3. It converts Python 2 code to Python 3 and then I can start working on those. But still, even if you do the exact thing that's done in the course to modify the POC and run it in the environment, Sometimes it doesn't work. You have to do additional tweaks of your own, or you have to start from scratch and just make your own entire script that does exactly what you need it to do. I've gone the troubleshooting route. I like the way they write the exploits or the POCs in general. Uh, they use functions, and uh, when I'm writing my own stuff, I barely use functions. So I use that, I troubleshoot it, and I ask ChatGP2 to help me write specific things that I can't figure out. For example, if I want my script to import a DLL and then encode it in hex, do that, and then send it off, I'll just ask ChatGPT, how do I do that? I'm not too sure. And um, it saves a lot of time because usually you'd be on Stack Overflow, but now you just have to ask it to do what you need to do. And it provides a very clear and concise explanation of what is happening. It's not like it's just feeding you the answer. It's explaining things. If you don't understand some part of the code, you can ask it, Ayo, why is this there? Which is something I do a lot. Why is this there? And then it tells me, it tells me. And so that's one aspect I've been using it for. I've also been using it for regular expressions, regex, which is super important when you're surfing through code, when you want to look up specific things. Regular expressions are not the easiest thing to memorize. I mean, you could know some of the basic stuff, but sometimes you need a lot more complex searches and filtering. And so just asking ChatGPT, write me regular expression to look for this length of an AWS key in this code, right? Stuff like that. It gives you exactly what you need. You just run it and you're good to go. However, I did then start to think about some of the exam restrictions that might come with ChatGPT. For example, I'm looking at the exam guide right now, and it says that um, downloading any applications, files, or source code from the exam environment to your local machine is strictly forbidden. That means you can't copy and paste stuff from the exam environment onto your local machine or just out of the exam environment. It's forbidden. So in any sense, when using ChatGPT, um, you shouldn't paste any sensitive sensitive information in ChatGPT, right? They might store it. I mean, they will obviously store it. And uh, that's an L on your part. So just, if you're gonna use it, take a look at the exam restrictions. You're not allowed to use source code analyzers. So you can't, you literally cannot copy it out and paste it in ChatGPT and um, ask it, where is the vulnerability? You cannot do that. So do your own research with regards to the use cases of such tools and uh, 
there's a bunch of exam restrictions as well so just do your own research use it wisely if you have any questions don't ask me go ask OFSEC I'm not the expert here right and now the second thing I did want to get into with regards to the course is the way it's taught or written out for the students right for example there's instances at the beginning of a new module whereby you have a ton of code you might have to look at and um you don't know where to start and all they say is through inspection we found the following what do you mean through inspection how did you do that inspection what did you look at what are some of the things you do when you start looking at code right some modules do have that but others don't they literally just throw you at the function or at the piece of code you need to start looking at and i stopped wondering to myself if I was to do this myself with no guidance, how would I have found this? Would I have found this? And um, I then think again to the OSCP where I was like, considering I've never seen this before, would I have figured it out? And back then I used to think to myself, no, I wouldn't figure it out because I've never seen it before. But it's an experience thing. Once you do it more and more and more, over and over and over again correctly, you begin to get better at it so at some point maybe once you've done all the modules you get used to it so much you don't need to ask yourself if you would have figured it out if you do it properly you take good notes um do research outside which of course they expect you to do it's offset you're paying a thousand dollars so that you can uh, go do more googling without any sort of reference of what you're looking for it is what it is so the more you do it you get used to it and um the discord server for the OSWE or uh, any of these expert level courses, the 300s, they don't seem to be as responsive as something like the OSCP or where there's a ton of, ton of beginners, to be fair. There's obviously not as many people studying for the OSWE and so probably the ones that are studying for the OSWE do not want to be bothered and uh, they're not as responsive on Discord. I mean, I have gotten some help, but it's not, it's not a lot, it's not a lot. I don't know what to think about that. So if, if you do know people studying for the OSWE, you should probably reach out to them directly and uh, hear what they have to say and get help if you can. But asking a question on the Discord, ah, you won't get help in time. You, it might be the next day, two days later or never, because I've scrolled through some of the, the, the channels and uh, it's not pretty. People ask questions and they don't get help most of the time. But it is what it is, do your own research. And in terms of doing your own research, there is times where they mention things in passing. They are like, uh, this use case, it might work for our exploitation, but we're not gonna use it. And so go, we'll leave that as an exercise, go do your own research about it. And then they don't link any resources or a starting place for you to do the research, which makes no sense to me. You mentioned it in passing, so I have no clue exactly what you're talking about. How am I gonna start doing my own research? To match this specific use case it makes no sense to me right they do link some documentation for some of the things you might be talking about in a specific module or in a specific paragraph maybe documentation to postgres which you can find but for other specific things that they mentioned in passing it's so vague and some of the exercises the questions are written in a way you can't really understand what they're asking for so you don't really know where to begin your research some people seem to understand how this works i personally haven't gotten used to it the way they answers or the way they ask some of the questions for like extra miles which is just something you should do after a module or after a specific section in the module i'm just like what are you asking exactly where do i start it would be super helpful if you linked something so that i can start somewhere but no it's an extra mile but that is most of what i want to talk about in this video get used to script get used to scripting i've been using chat gpt to help with that and um of course i'm not asking chat gpt to let you write the entire script i'm not that lazy and i want to get good at doing it myself as well so that's just an extra and um look at the exam guidelines if you have any questions direct them to offsec don't ask me please and um do your own research. That is something they seem to want you to do. And this is still a grievance of mine, to be fair. You're paying thousands of dollars to learn a skill, to learn something. And then they want you to do more on top of that outside. Just put everything in one place. It's 
it, it wouldn't hurt anyone right it wouldn't um that is my update currently in the depths of struggling uh, it's a lot to get used to code reviews um a lot of code thousands of lines of code sometimes hopefully will be done soon apart from that i'm having fun i like the labs i like writing scripts it seems like a lot of fun people think it's a lot of just web stuff but there's a lot more to it and um, it's fun so if you have the money why not blow it on the OSWE? not sponsored by the way i will catch you in the next one though